Hello, hello, my beautiful souls, and welcome to my channel. So today's reading is going to be about uh, eight doors that are opening for you. So you can choose one, you can choose more than one, but uh, this will be a short reading, like uh, I'm going to put eight cards, okay? So choose intuitively, don't overthink uh, if you need to choose one or you need to choose more than one. Uh, I do not recommend to choose all of them because uh, it's going to be too much of the information. But I would say up to three, four cards is good enough. Okay? So let's see. What doors are opening for you in the close future? Soon. When I'm saying soon, um, I'm saying within weeks, um, maximum two months. But no more than that. Okay? So let's see. Door number one, door number two, door number three, door number four, door number five, door number six, door number seven, and door number eight. Okay? So... I'll give you some time to choose your door or doors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you can pause the video and choose your door, okay? So let's start with door number one. So whoever chose door number one, what is opening for you? What opportunity? What you need to know right now. Wow, Ace of Swords, uh, straightforward here. So, um, what can I say here, guys? What door is opening for you? Door, the door of the truth. Something that you were wondering about. Something that you didn't know. Or something that you were so curious about and you didn't know if it's true or not. Or... Uh, you imagining things or um, some information that you missed like let's say you had most of it but some puzzle you were missing this information is opening for you so new information that uh, you didn't have maybe even some secret for some but I want to say things will become very very clear whatever was uh, fading whatever was uh, in the moon right now is coming uh, this truth is coming out it's like the truth is coming out it could be about anything you know better what is it about because if you don't know uh, anything about it that means it's not your door or maybe this will be a surprise for you that you will realize later on what was this about, okay? But some truth is coming to the surface here, I want to say, okay? Thank you, pile number one, or door number one, and I'm going to door number two. Whoever chose door number two, what is opening for you? <laughs> King of Wands. Also straightforward. <laughs> Those cards are uh, straightforward today. Uh, so what door is opening for you door for success door for achievements uh, if you were um, waiting on financial achievements goals abundance it's coming your way if you were uh, waiting for your love or someone a person uh, to contact you to uh, re like reappear or in general if you waited for your love new love it could be anything uh it's coming your way and it's coming um more for most i feel person is coming for 80 percent person is coming for 20 percent it could be your own it's it's you and your own success if you don't look for any relationship if everything is fine um in love with you and you more concentrated on finances right now that's your main goal then yes you will achieve any obstacles whatever you need to achieve to get to the point where where you want to get but for most i feel person a person's coming your way could be someone you were waiting on 
or could be a new one. But this door for love is opening. New passion, new love. Um, again, it could be a person from your past or someone new, but someone's coming. Okay, that's the door that's opening for you. Thank you very much, door number two. And let's continue with door number three. Whoever chose door number three, what is opening for you? What will come to life for you? <laughs> Ten of Swords. What is opening for you? New life, I want to say here. Because Ten, especially Ten of, Ten of Swords, for me at least, it's the ending of something. It's the ending of struggle. Uh, Right now you might feel horrible, right now you might feel depressed, right now you might feel that nothing will ever change, but guess what? The new door is opening for you, where you will end this ten of swords, because after ten comes a zero. New start. So what door is opening? New start. It could be in anything, whatever concerns you right now when I'm talking, whatever triggers you right now. Is it your love life? Is it your finances? Is it your health? Whatever's there, you were struggling for quite some time, I feel, for many, even for years. You were waiting on something that never happened. And you were ready to the point where you're tired. You don't want to do anything anymore. You're tired. You tried all the ways, didn't work. Guess what? The door is opening. Finally, you leaving something behind and you're starting something new and you want it or not this transformation is coming your way okay such door is opening to you ending of sorrow ending of struggle and the beginning of new life complete transformation so uh thank you door number three and let's continue whoever chose uh the door number four let's see what door is opening for you guys here? Interesting. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Wow. Uh, what door is opening? Love, emotions, abundance, happiness, new beginning. For some, maybe even a marriage or a child. Maybe you are pregnant and um, you are about to have a child. Or maybe you will find out that you're pregnant. This is just for some. For others... Uh, the universe bringing you this uh, cup of love and telling you, you deserved it. Now you will be happy. And here, 99% I feel love, love situation. Uh, it could be also something else, finances or health as well, if it concerns you a lot, but for most I feel your true love, soulmate, twin flame, whoever you waited for, or maybe you were waiting for a new love to come. This love is coming. For some, maybe even someone will tell you that they are in love with you. Some recognition you will get. Uh, and you will be very happy about this. So it's very, very close. Remember that. It's not far away. It's very close. Especially for those who picked this pile. Your love is coming. Beautiful. Okay, whoever chose door number five. What door is opening for you guys? <laughs> Knight of Wands. Okay, interesting. I sense here secret admirer. Okay, so it could be someone is already watching you and you don't know. And this person will finally show their face or tell you that they like you, that they have crush on you, or this is someone you already know that actually keep an eye on you because they really, really like you. They have lots of passion for you, but this is someone new. This person is someone new and uh, they're very passionate about you. But I also feel it's not that, that they just passionate about your looks, but also about your inner, uh, uh, like, um, 
your energies they love your energies they love being around you this person maybe they're just friend for now maybe they are just keeping an eye on you maybe it's at work it doesn't matter but this person is very passionate about you they like you and they're ready to show their face their face they're ready to let you know um literally or maybe some certain signs that you would feel from them or see from them certain actions and i feel actions here okay that will let you know that this person likes you okay so that's the door that's opening for you very soon thank you and we are moving forward uh whoever chose door number six what door is opening for you guys four of pentacles amazing so what I want to say here, first word that's coming, stability. If you didn't feel stability if of in any aspect of your life, it doesn't matter, is it love, is it finances, health, uh, career, whatever it is, you will feel stable finally. If you worry about money, you will finally find the right job or find the right finances, whatever it is, you would feel much more stable. If you were looking for stable relationship and it was come and go, uh, hot and cold, you finally either finding a person who can who can give you the stability, or your person will start acting more stable, more um, committed. Okay, so for everyone is different. Okay, because this is a general reading. But what door opening for you? Stability, stability in your mind, in your life. And maybe even stability in your emotions. Maybe you were over emotional lately and maybe you cried a lot. Maybe uh, you were not happy with something and finally you realize, okay, stability, I feel better. I feel balanced. For some, you might even buy a house or move in another, um, to another apartment or city or country and you would feel more stable there. Okay, so stability is coming your way. Thank you guys. And then we're moving forward to whoever chose door number seven. Hello guys and door number seven. What is coming for you? <laughs> Queen of Cups. Wow. Okay. First thing comes into my mind right now. Your intuition is going to serve you well. What door is opening? Your intuition starts working very well. And it helps you to overcome certain obstacles. It helps you to get the goals that you want. It helps you to manifest things that you want. And finally, I want to say, if you are in love right now, or you like someone, I want to say this person will let you know that they like you back. If you don't have someone, what door is opening? New love abundance in love emotions feelings you're gonna feel excited you're gonna feel uh, cared for okay so you would feel this care from someone uh, that will give you this love that you missed maybe you felt lonely for a long time and finally this person will give you this uh, love emotions beautiful so love is coming your way okay and finally whoever chose door number eight what door is opening for you guys okay nine of swords of course i can say right now what door is opening for you you're gonna continue crying of course i can say that but i won't say that why because for me this is just a phase you're going through right now do you feel sad do you feel lonely do you feel depressed you're not happy about something in your life then this is your pile but what door is opening is you leaving those swords behind because they are behind you and whatever you feel right now all in your head 
there are no obstacles, there are no problems. You make them in your head. What door is opening for you to leave those swords behind? And you live in them. You're not gonna cry anymore. You're not gonna be upset anymore. But this is not because some miracle is happening or someone will come and heal you, no. You are the one who will pick up yourself, get up and continue going because you are leaving those swords behind. And that's the door that's opening for you. Especially if it resonates right now. If you're in depression, if you feel sad, if you feel um, you miss un, uh, your love life is going bad, your finances you worried all the time, uh, struggles that you're going through, maybe your health is no good, maybe you're sick right now. Uh, some people might even have right now symptoms of coronavirus. Just an example, I'm telling you. Guess what? You're coming out of it. This is temporary. This is not forever. Because people cannot be sad forever, as well as people cannot be happy forever. Everything changes in this world. There are changes. So you're coming out of it. Don't worry. This is just a moment of your life. You will get over it. Because you're leaving those swords behind. Beautiful. Thank you, guys. I hope it gave you certain insight, guidance. Maybe uh, you felt better after this reading. Or maybe you found out something you uh, were looking for. Thank you very much. I love you all. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.